What's going on, everybody? That's right, it's Eric Barras, and I'm back. I know, I was gone for a little while. I started a silly new business, and it took up all of my time, but I'm here still now with you. Here we go. We are learning Semisonic's closing time. Oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorite songs. I will never forget all the way back in middle school in 1990-something, 98 probably. I was sitting at home eating a bunch of junk and sugar on a summer morning, and my parents were gone at work. I was watching music videos all day, as one did back then. I remembered seeing this music video and immediately thinking, I must own this album. So I hopped on my bike, drove, rode the two miles down to Blockbuster Warehouse, bought the Semisonic album, and just played the heck out of it. Ah, oh, nostalgia. It's a really well-crafted pop song. So let's dive right in. We're in standard tuning. I recommend a single coil. So I've got um, my, I have a humbucker here, but I have a single coil uh, tap. So, right, I pull on it, and now it's single coil. It's gonna get us this nice sound. Okay, so just starting with that intro, we want like a mostly clean sound, but maybe just like a, a, a slight bit of distorsiones, uh, just a little bit of gain on there. So what I have is I've got, I'm using my boost, uh, my Greg Howe boost pedal, um, and then the Friedman doesn't have a ton of headroom because it's just a 20 watt amp. So uh, if I turn the clean up all the way, like it's already breaking up. So I have a slightly broken up, gainy kind of a sound here. And the way we're gonna play this is we're gonna do a G power chord at the third fret on string six. And you're gonna just gently hit the two thickest strings roughly, and then accent the higher sounding strings. But we're not gonna do all six strings, so it's gonna be like six and five a, two, a couple times, and then we'll accent three and four. That's a good way of thinking of it. Now, you don't have to be exact with this, but just generally think low, low, high in terms of pitch. Low, low, high, all right? And then we're gonna go to a D bar chord at the fifth fret on the fifth string. Bend that ring finger back like a banana to get this nice chord. And same idea here. But the rhythm changes slightly. So we had da, 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 ti, ti, ta, tiki. Now, ti, ti, ta, tiki, tiki, ti, ti, ta, tiki, tiki, ti, ti. Yeah. Do, do, cha, chika, chika, cha, cha. So we want on the G roughly, and then a down up in between, down, 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 down up. Now on that D chord, we have down, up, down, 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 okay? Then when we get to the A minor bar chord, same thing. Down, 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 down up. That last down up is really a transition to the next chord, so don't feel like you have to hold that chord there. So, so far we have Then do a C bar chord. Down, up, down, down. You can do this with just regular chords, right? G, D, A minor, C. So like if you were just playing like acoustic and you wanted to sing it for people. You can do that, but it really sounds better in this case with the bar chords. And you hear how that final note, do do da, ticket ticket do da, ticket do do da, ticket ticket do da. You really hear like that low to high. So um, that it makes it's simple, but it's deviously uh, kind of tricky there. Okay, so then we have a piano part that we're going to arrange for guitar, which goes like this. So you're just gonna hold seven and eight on the first two strings, your highest two strings. Right, and we're gonna go first string, second string, first string, second string. We're just always going back and forth. Seven, eight, seven, eight, 
10, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8. So that's the first way to do it. The second way is do a little baby bar on the 12th fret of strings 2 and 3. And we're going to go 12, 12, 12, 12, 15, 12, 12, 13, 12, 12, 12, 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, right? You get a slightly brighter sound at seven and eight. So it just kind of depends on personal preference, what, what you want to do there. Okay, so then the chorus, we do, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna do the same exact chords, but we are going to do them as open chords, all right? So. We're gonna go like down, 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 to think two strums on the G, and then on the D, A minor, C, and then with those fill-in strums in between the chords, right? So always remember, with most songs, when you're switching between chords, you want a quick little down up in between, right? So down up, down up. Right, like that. It sounds kind of lame if you just go. You may need to start that way, but eventually. It just flows, right? So down, 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 up, down, up, down. Yes, like that, okay? So that's our chorus. And then we have another verse, and then we have another chorus. And then after the second chorus, we go to the bridge. cool key change. It's all just like piano and drums. There's not any guitar here, I don't believe. The melody goes. Okay, so that's, uh, what is that? 11 on the second string, down to thir 13 on the, th the third string, back to the 11 on the second string, 13, on the second string, ah, 11 on the first string, 10 on the first string, ah, 13 on the second string, 11 on the second string, 12 on the third string, and then it starts over again. Wow, that's, that's a lot to think about at once. And then the chords happening behind that are Really cool, so we've we've switched to the key of E flat major um, here. Um, so we've got this B flat bar chord, A flat, E flat, C minor. But you could also uh, play that C minor here at the eighth fret on string six. I kind of like that because it shows me this shape. Right, that, that common collection of chords that we see in pop music. I like just visualizing that shape, okay? Um, and so then after three or four times of that, it just goes back to the regular thing. Check this out. I don't know why that's so cool, uh, but it's it's basically like you end up coming from a minor four chord back into the one in the key of G, and that's that's really cool. And then also the melody, right? I messed that part up, but it's it's just such a cool, cool transition. 
All right, so now this is really fun. We get into the uh, the kind of guitar solo, like the interlude with some octaves. Uh, the, the, there's a big, gnarly guitar. And we'll probably go full humbucker there. You get the idea there. So uh, we're gonna start with a C octave. So that means we've got the root note C um, on the fifth fret of, uh, on the third fret of string five. Then we're gonna block the next string with our index finger. Then we're gonna put our pinky on the fifth fret of the third string. They're both Cs, um, each a C, but one octave apart, okay? Um, so make sure your index finger tip is blocking string six. Make sure your index finger is blocking string four and only applying pressure on string five. And then make sure your pinky is holding down string uh, three. And then your pinky and or index is will be blocking the highest two strings. So you should be able to strum everything. If you can't do that, if you're like curling your fingers, and, and like it's just gonna sound nasty, or if you try to just delicately hit those two strings, don't do that. Really spend time practicing blocking all those other strings. It will be worth it, I promise, if you don't already have that technique down. Um, so we're gonna go C, D, G. So three, five, seven, ten. And then, I believe in the recording it's a separate guitar doing the chords, but it sounds really cool if you actually go back and forth between them. It works really well. That's cool, so yeah. Three, five, seven, ten. G, D, E minor, and seven, nine, ten, fourteen. All right, uh, that's the bridge, or the interlude, the interlude um, guitar solo kind of thing. And then we're just back to a nice, quiet, I'll roll my volume down a little. Back to that, and then we have another couple of choruses, and then uh, a little quiet ending, which is the same as everything else. So you really have, essentially, one, two, Three, um, and four. You, those are your four guitar parts. Uh, and then, oh, and then the piano parts, if you think of these as separate parts, this would be five. And then, It's like you have six guitar parts there uh, to, to practice and have fun with. So yeah, that's Closing Time by Semisonic. Let me know what you think. Such a well-crafted pop song in terms of lyrics, melody, chords, uh, harmonies. Everything about it is just perfection. I, I love it. So let me know what you think. Uh, do you play it differently than this? What do you think of my breakdown? Um, be sure and like and subscribe if you dig this or if you don't send it to your friends send it to your enemies I don't really care and I will see you guys in the next times